Brooklyn Independent Television. We uh, switched gears and Sam Peterson has left the building. And with me right now is Ari Grant. Ari's a freshman and he made the all-conference team for the Hudson Valley Athletic Conference. Welcome, Ari. Welcome. Uh, man, how's it feel? It's good. Yeah, it's to know good. that you came in here and you did a lot of work and you have a new coach. They have a new coach, which to you is a new coach anyway, because this is your first year playing college ball. Explain the transition also going from high school to college. Well, uh, I played at a pretty small high school too. You know, I, I graduated. You're from Denver, right? I'm from Denver, Colorado. Mm -hmm. I graduated with 21. So, I mean, I'm used to sort of a small, laid back kind of environment. But the, I mean, the, the love for the game doesn't really change. You know, I'll, I'll play wherever. And wherever, like, I get an opportunity to play is a really, really a gift. I'm sure you had other opportunities, other coaches and other colleges that had, did approach you in high school. Why pray? I actually, because of the small nature of my high school, I didn't really have many other offers. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I came to Pratt not to play basketball, but to study architecture. You know, I figured it's a, basketball is a perk of being here. You know, it's a small enough school in which I'll be able to play and make an impact, but it's not why I chose it. Okay. All right, why did you choose it anyway? I chose it for the architecture program and for the location. You know, it's good to be in Brooklyn. It's a change of scenery, definitely, for me, and something I really love to do. Your coach, let's talk about him. Mm -hmm. Coach Al. Yeah. Your thoughts about him? And what did he tell you? I mean, he, it's, it's really good to have a coach with as much high-level experience as him. It's, uh, it's something I never, I never really dreamed of, playing college basketball under such an experienced coach. And, you know, he's sort of taking it one step at a time with a lot of the other guys. And I'm all right with that. And I think it's really good for him to sort of mentor me and mentor the other guys and really see us grow because there's a lot of room for improvement. As a freshman also, you average 18.4 points per game. Yeah. That's, that's great uh -huh. for, for a freshman also. Thanks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How's that feel? I mean, it, it's and definitely... What was, also, what was your best game also? I mean, you played, I know, you were, I, I believe, I spoke to Sam. Sam said, that St. Joseph's program is really the top program here in Brooklyn within your conference between yourselves. Is St. Joseph a rival? Would you consider them a rival? I really didn't know much of our conference and of the teams and rivalries in it. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say they're a rival as much, but you know, it's, a, it's always good competition playing against a much higher level, level program, much more experience. Mm -hmm. As for, as for myself, I think that scoring is sort of a it's, a, it's definitely a perk of being on this team, and it's, but it's also sort of a responsibility sometimes. I mean, there are a couple games where we won where I wouldn't score the first half. You know, it was amazing. I, my teammates would get involved, you know, they'd do the scoring, and then it would open up for me. Those were my best games. You know, games where I had to start putting up a lot of points immediately, didn't always end well because, you know, eventually I would hit a cold streak or other guys were unable to get involved. And was it too much on your shoulders? It was never too much on my shoulders, but it was always, uh, yes, I, I guess you could say actually, yeah, it was too much on my shoulders sometimes. But, you know, it, it's also, you have to understand, you have to take things into perspective, being that this is a new team and that you should use all the 40 minutes of the game to grow as a team and just play your hardest and no matter what the score, get all those new guys involved, get them the ball, really get them to start to become part of the team. Is there also a buzz around campus now about the basketball team? I haven't really uh, heard. Compared to last year? I mean, I wasn't here last year, but I haven't really heard, but definitely among some of the freshmen, uh, I think I've inspired some people to play, which is really good. You know, there's a couple guys in the architecture program who didn't play who are freshmen because of the time commitment. And I think they're going to try out next year. And they're good players, you know. Maybe not all of them played high school, but they definitely played in high school. And they, uh, they definitely have some experience, which will be really good to have them on the team. Now that your season's over, how do you look back at it? Your first season in college it's basketball. It's really uh, great to look back on it. You know, I was n considering not playing at the beginning because of the time commitment, like some of my friends did. 
now I look back on it, I really don't regret anything. You know, it's a definitely a good growth experience, and it's definitely a season in which I made an impact for the school. And that's something that I really enjoy doing. How do you guys look for next year, you think? Next year, it'll, I think we have to look at it the same way as a growing process. You know, we'll be better. The guys will know the plays. We'll start to run the offense. New guys will come. But I, I think we need to also look at it as a growing process. You know, there are teams that have been in this conference and have been established in this conference for a long time. And it'll take a while to catch up to them. But, you know, if we just take it slow, sort of one step at a time, things will develop. Thanks, Lars. Thank Thanks you. for coming on. Stay right there for a moment. Watch this and other Brooklyn Independent Television episodes online at brickartsmedia.org/bit.